When you do anything without a reason, it is called a waste of time. Have you traveled without reason, without a good purpose while you are traveling? Have you made some calls when you are not supposed to make some calls? Have you eaten even when you are not hungry? Have you gone to a wrong school when you are not supposed to go to the school? Today, I want to speak with you that it is time for you to ask why. In so many times in our life, we do a lot of things without knowing the reason why we are even doing what we are doing. We go to school that we never wanted to go because people are going to school. We go to church that we never wanted to go because people are going to church. We try to look for money because other people are rich because we want to just get rich. We want to do this, do that, one, two, three, and uncountable things that people are doing without purpose. And this is number one reason why there are a lot of frustrations that people are going through today. Why would you go into something that you don't even know the reason why you are going into it? A lot of people are preparing to go to travel even as I'm talking with you now. And they don't have a genuine reason. They don't have purpose why they are going into, into the travel. Now, a lot of people want to go into a relationship. Why? Because their mates are married and they are not prepared. They don't have any reason they are going into the relationship. The only thing that they could say is that all my mates are married. They have gotten married, so I want to marry. Why do you want to marry? What is the purpose? Why do you want to go to school? Why do you want to do this? Everything you are doing, even the next call you are about to make, why do you want to make that call? It is time for you to begin to ask yourself some questions. Why am I doing what I'm doing? All the whole money that you are having, why are you spending it the way you are spending it? Why do you want to buy that type of car? Why do you want to build that type of house? I want you to have a purpose why you are doing everything you are doing. Because it is only when you know the reason why you are doing something that is when you will have a direction if you have a purpose if you have a vision of something you want to do and you have a purpose why you are doing something that determines the way you do that thing now if you want to go to somewhere maybe a place that is very close to you two kilometers three kilometers away from you you cannot board you know you cannot take flights to the place or you board a bus to the place. A place that is 500 meters is not what you can board a bus to because it's trackable. A lot of people are doing things unnecessarily without asking questions. And that is a problem we are facing in the world today. Before you do something, think about the consequences. Before you do something, think about how it will end. Because you have few years to live on earth. What about your generations? Everything you do today is what is going to bring fruit tomorrow. A lot of things that we have done in the past is what we are reaping today. So anything you are doing today, if you do not reap it, know that you have children that will reap it. That is how life is. So I want you to start living a life with purpose a life with reasons by asking yourself why 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 do you sleep at 8 at 9 or 10 11 or 12 in the midnight 1 or 2 or 3 a.m why do you wake up early in the morning and go to where you are going the work you are doing presently why are you doing the work everything you are doing I want you to have reasons, a written reason. Write down the reason why you are doing that thing. And that will become like a creed. It will become the way you reason. It will become the way you set plans for yourself. If you do not plan your life, you will be part of other people's plan. Do not fail to ask yourself why you are doing what you are doing. God did not create you to become a slave. God did not create you to become a poor man. God did not create you to become a non-entity. God created you to become somebody in his image. He has a thought for you, a thought of peace and not of evil. 
Everything you are going through is not because of God's weakness. It's not a reflection of God's weakness. It's not because God is weak or God doesn't know what he's doing. But a lot of time we have used our hand to do what we ought not to do because we refuse to ask ourselves why. Why are you doing what you are doing? Why are you watching this video? Let your life be a life of purpose. Think well before you do anything you want to do. To avoid regret, to avoid disappointment, you must ask why. If you want to avoid disappointment, you want to avoid regrets, to the barest minimum, you need to have something in your heart. And that is asking why. You need to ask why. Why do you want to send your child to that school? Is it because it is a school? Everything is not for you. Every woman is not for every man. Every car is not for you. Every school is not for you. Every money is not for you. There are some things that are not for you. There are some things that are for you. And you can never know what belongs to you unless you start asking yourself, why am I doing this? Why should I do this? Why should I do that? Why should I make this call? Why should I make this travel? Why should I make this food? Why should I go to this school? Why should I go to this work? Why should I be employed by this company? You've got to ask yourself why. This is a question that a lot of people have refused to ask. A lot of people in the prison have refused to ask why before they did what they, they, they did that took them to prison. A lot of people that are crying, depressed, it is or it may be that they never asked before they did what they did that kept them in that situation. But it is time to let loose of every situation you are facing. It is time to start asking yourself why you are doing what you are doing. Do not let your emotions to lead you. Be led by your genuine will. There are a lot of things that might come into your mind. Do this, do not do this, but do not fail to ask yourself, why should I do this? Why? It is a question time. In this period of time we are in this world, it is a question time. If you do not ask why, you might go out at the wrong time and you will have accident, you will die. That is not a prayer, nobody prays for such, but it is happening. Ask why. A lot of people have invested in stocks. At the end, they did not ask why. They duped them. You have got to ask why you should do everything that you want to do. I have started asking myself why. Time in the past, I made unnecessary travel, unnecessary talks, unnecessary, a lot of things I have done unnecessarily that I shouldn't have done. And it has kept me two years back of where it's supposed to be now. But when I discover what I've done wrong, I recovered my lost years. You've got to discover that you are not asking yourself questions. Ask yourself why. Do not fail. Do not fail to ask yourself why. Keep on repeating anything you want to do. To the extent that if you want to eat food, ask yourself why. Is this food the right food I should eat? And that is why a lot of people eat a lot of junks. And after some time, they fell ill and they begin to blame the devil. But you refuse to ask why. Why? Anyway, this life is not a game of strength. It's a game of sense. And there is nothing of value that costs nothing. Everything in this life is only about sacrifice. But it would pay you better if you could be sacrificing your mental, be sacrificing your heart, be sacrificing your words, your thoughts. And develop that attitude to ask why. Question everything. Everything. Question everything. And when you do that, you will have reasons and opportunity to escape a lot of trap that have been set before you. Thank you.